Hello guys, so this tutorial is a continuation of the last two tutorials and we already made the, the regular and the locked mode in the checkpoint In this tutorial we're going to make the ordered mode and to explain what that, what that is I made this little image and it works just like in one of those racing games So this is the route that you have to take and the way it will work is in order for you to complete the route you would have to press through this checkpoint first then only if that checkpoint is active, then it will go into this one. And only if that one is active, it will go. You could go. It would activate this one, and so on and so forth, so that you can go through weird shortcuts then that aren't be really supposed to be there. So that's what we're going to do. And um, here in the code, in the checkpoint handler, just go into the checkpoint handler and open it. We have this, and I'm going to add a new mode over here, which is the ordered mode. Okay, and just like we did with these two over here, I'm going to also create here another else if, and if the mode equals the ordered mode, then we want something to happen. And uh, just like in the last tutorial, we're going to copy this thing over here, this loop. And we're going to actually need a variable to, with the, which is basically the number of the checkpoint that we are currently in. So I'm going to make here int index, which is a number. And you know, uh, when you initialize it like this, index is equal to zero. And basically, we we'll, we'll only want something to happen when we hit the, the checkpoint with the index number. So let's say here in the checkpoint handler, we have like we have checkpoints in this order, and of course that you can change the order of these checkpoints to be whatever you want. And this, anyways, this is the element zero. So this is the first element, meaning we have to hit this checkpoint first for something to happen. Because if you don't if we don't hit this checkpoint, nothing happens, and that's basically it. We want to check if the checkpoint that we are hitting is the one that has that index. In this case, the zero, and then it will be one, two, three, to the last checkpoint. So, before we do anything, we want to check if the current checkpoint equals, and we want to see in the checkpoint array. So, in this checkpoint array. the the index number index if so if the current checkpoint is equal to the first element uh, in this case the first element because index is zero of the array then we want this code to happen this for each loop and we can actually put this over here in here to make save space like so So if the checkpoint that we are hitting is actually the last checkpoint, then what we want to do? Well, we want the previous checkpoints that we hit to turn into locked, and we want the current checkpoint to turn into active. So we'll just copy this part over here, code check, and we're going to getting the component checkpoint and finding its status and turning it into active after this we also want to of course increase the index so so the way that this is going to work is we hit a checkpoint then it updates and then we can only hit the checkpoint with the next index so if we hit the zero checkpoint it, we will be able to hit next the, the checkpoint with index one and then two and then three so let me show you so in here in the checkpoint array here in the checkpoint handler, we, this is the order. So the first one is this one, then the second one, then this is the second one, and this is and this is the third one, and this is the fourth one. So we can only activate in this order, like bam, 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 bam. So now if I go, so if I go into this checkpoint, nothing will happen. So I'm going to make the the checkpoint handler mode into order and hit play. And as you can see, if I go into this checkpoint, nothing happens because this checkpoint is the 
first one. So if I go through all of the checkpoints, nothing will happen except for this one. If I hit this one, this one is now the active one. And now the second one that can be activatable is this one. Because it's the second on the list. And like that, that become active and is unlocked. And this is the third one, and that's the fourth one. And that's basically it. Uh, now we're, what we're going to do, as you can see, when we reach the last checkpoint, it gave us this little error. And every time I go into it, it gives us this error, which mean which means that the index array is out of range. Now let me try and explain to you why this this error happens. It basically says that the arrays are out of out of range. And what is happening is that now, so we hit zero, zero one. Two, three, four. Now, when we hit this checkpoint, the index turns into four, and as you can see, there's only into the element three. There's no element four. So what we want to do is to make a condition that makes this loop only work when the index is smaller than four, meaning smaller than the checkpoints dot length. So I'm going to put the condition here. So it end index is smaller than the checkpoints dot length and the reason that I'm putting it here is that if this condition is false it won't even try to check this condition and because it was here that was giving us the error it won't happen any it won't happen any error. So if I hit save go into Unity and replay and do the exact same thing you'll see that no more errors are appearing. Uh, and now there's one last thing that I want to do, which is to order the elements, because right now the elements are being ordered uh, automatically. Because every time we play, it basically finds it basically finds every checkpoint and puts it there. And the way that I'm going to do this is it only makes the checkpoints equal to that if something happens, if the mode is not the mode dot ordered because if it is the mode dot ordered we're going to make here else we're going to make here debug dot log a warning debug dot warning log warning and something to tell us to make sure that we put the checkpoints in the order that we want make sure you filled The checkpoints array, and like that. Now, as you can see, the mode is ordered. If I play, it will give us that warning. Because it isn't filled, nothing will happen. But we can fill it in the order that we want. So, for elements, and put here the checkpoints. So I'm going to actually put zero in the order that they are. Zero, one. Two, three. Oops. And now they will be activated in this particular order, which is actually different from the last one. And that's basically for today, guys. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.